Hey guys, just Eloise here for a quick little message. Um, I'm about to head over to Erisie's house. We were going to do some filming today, and uh, she wanted to do a special video with her girlfriend. So, her girlfriend and I planned a surprise because not too long ago, Erisie lost her iPod, um, and she's had it for years. It was like her favorite thing ever, and she's not sure where it went at all. Like, none of us can find it. So, her girlfriend and I worked together. And we got her a brand new a brand new iPod Nano and a case to go with it. So we're gonna surprise her with it at the end of this video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Okay? Bye guys. Hello! Welcome back to Fan Configuration. I'm Erisi and I'm Eloise. And today we kind of have a special little do dead kind of Q&A type video. It's a special guest time, boys and girls. Special guest time! This was inspired by Go Figures channel who did a significant other tag, so we thought we'd do it again today. So, well, basically, let's be real. It's true though. Anyway, we have a special guest today and I'd like to introduce her, so welcome. Hello! This is Emily, this is my girlfriend, and I'm gonna ask her some embarrassing, compromising questions and see what she says. I'm oh, just good. kidding, they're, they're not that embarrassing or compromising. Okay, this one's a good one already. This is gonna trigger you. How do you feel about how much you, I spend on figures? <laughs> do you want me to answer honestly? Just, honestly of course, of course, like just be mostly honestly. Just be brutal, just be brutal. I wanna know the truth. Usually you're fine. When you're like in the middle of like a school semester and you have like some income, because usually you're pretty good and you save up for one. But then it's like summertime and every pre-order that you want magically is during like July and August. It's true. And then you're like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to afford it. And then you just have the smile and I'm like, hmm. Maybe I'll just let this one go. I just smile gently as things just catch on fire behind so, me and I just pretend it's not happening. Usually it's fine, but there's the occasional summer binges <laughs> where I, I it's very questionable. Alright, question number two. What is your favorite and your least favorite figure that I own? <laughs> oh god. I have, I have three that I like a lot. Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. I might have to do the you because he's my son. Why do you like you so much? Just because you like the character? I like you because I like the character. And I just like his pose and I like his stupid little outfit. And I just like to come and pet his hair when I come visit. I also so like that you like understand you. the pain and the agony that, that is, we don't have I'll Mika. never have Mika basically because it's like $700. $800. No, not no. No. Oh, Mika. Yeah, he's sad. Well, he's really cute. I mean, he's pretty well made, but surprising. <laughs> Who's your least favorite? Oh, God. It kind of bothers me that Kirito looks like a girl. <laughs> Just because I thought this was a girl for about two months before you told me it was Kirito. Yeah, he's dumb. I mean, it makes sense if you see the show, but yeah. And I haven't seen the show, and I don't really like the base. It's not very it's exciting. because it's prize figure. So, I mean, he is a price figure. But. I mean, I can accept that answer. I, I don't judge He's him. not my fave. I'm not, I, if I had to set one of your figures on fire, I probably would set him on fire. <laughs> we didn't ask that question! <laughs> Which one was the most expensive? Probably Star Lord. You actually got that right. Uh, he is the most expensive. Cause you didn't buy that one though. That was a gift. No, that was a Christmas gift, but he was around two hundred and forty dollars. I know how much Hawkeye was because I was there when you bought it. Yeah. I was in the bookstore. I left you alone for ten minutes, <laughs> and then I saw her in line with this giant like hot toy box like. <laughs> I made some mistakes that I don't regret. I think I know which one the other most expensive one is that I have actually. And I also didn't buy it. It's Mikasa. Yeah. Mikasa was like a hundred. I would say that I would say if, if it was like if it weren't your hot toys, 
it would be like that like the special that, that shelf. shelf on your case is like all the pretty ones that I know spend <laughs> too much money on. The really expensive ones. Okay. Has my collection brought us closer together or farther apart? I think closer together. Well, yeah. Because I just bought my first Metroid. <laughs> Talk about mistakes! <laughs> Guess who's on this bandwagon I now? bought... Well, you helped me buy. I did. At our last con, my first Nendo, which was Aaron, which I wanted for like months. Aaron Yeager, and she also you also pre-ordered. I also pre-ordered Amelia from ReZero because I love her. The Nendoroid collection begins. Do you like seeing new additions to my collection? Usually. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Usually. Usually because, okay, if I know, sometimes usually if it's a surprise and I know you probably shouldn't have bought it, I usually am excited like when you got your spike, I was like, oh my god. Well, yeah, I told you about that. But, like if it's a surprise and I'm like, I wonder if she has enough money to like buy her food now. I usually don't. <laughs> I usually just accept my fate. But usually it's fine. <laughs> well, that's good. What were your first thoughts when you saw my collection? My first came over. Yeah. So that was like, what, like a couple years ago? A couple years ago. I don't know. I loved going into your room the first time I came in. Because I like your room, because there's a bunch of nerd shit everywhere. But, I don't know. I, I never had met someone who collected figures before. So I was like, oh, these are so cool. But I was also like, <laughs> How much are these things? <laughs> How long has this been going on for? But then I quickly got used to it. Um, so it's fine. Now I'm like, okay, this is normal. And now I have my own Android, so I'm like, this is fun. But gotten used to I've gotten the idea. used to it. But I was a little surprised, but I was also like kind of amazed a little bit. It's probably the best answer. It's kind of overwhelming a little bit, <laughs> to be honest, I can imagine. Oh jeez. Okay. Are you are you embarrassed to show slash tell friends or family about my collection? Just say it. Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I'm embarrassed slash nervous about telling people sometimes. I mean, some people are cool about it, but I feel like we had my parents over at your house the one time. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, Keelan has a bunch of like figures of just random anime characters with their boobs out. <laughs> it's fine. But yet when your mom saw one of my Sonicos, oh, she picked it up God. and was like, this is nice! Like we famously this is like so referenced cute. that. She's like, oh, I love this. That was laundry time Sonic. Yeah, we referenced that Sonic in one of our videos before because it was just so awkward. I was like, yeah, she's not wearing pants and she has huge boobs. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of the same friends, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> My friends, except me. <laughs> Luckily. <it's fine. laughs> Actually, I just like end up making my friends like it, or just turn them in. Yeah, well, I just like make people collect them because yeah, like me and Eloise, and or like they're already just weaves themselves, so it's not too it's true. shocked, shocking or anything. Okay, the final question. Now, this one I'm really interested to know. Our apartment is on fire, or our house, or whatever, and you only have time to save either my figure collection or your prized book collection. Which do you say? Oh, you changed it from the original question. It says prize collection, you collect books. So. Uh, that's true. That's your prize collection. That's hard. Cause that's, if it was my prize figure collection, that'd be easy to save. Right? Cause there's, there's only like, like two one. or one or two. <laughs> Yours I would actually save over because you have more that are nice. But if it was my books. Can I interject with an answer because Erisi and I talked about this? <gasps> what? I said you'd probably set yourself on fire because you're too good of a person and you try to save both. I probably would have thought. That's the real answer. You would just like go kamikaze and try to save both and then just set on fire. You're so hard happened. because you care so much about Erisi. <laughs> Here's what would happen. I'm also too indecisive. <laughs> So, I probably, if there was like a pile of your figures in one corner and a pile of my books in one corner, I would probably just be that like anime trope where you just go back and forth between them. Yeah. Like, constantly until everything's burnt and I'm dead. 
That's really stupid. <laughs> but if I had to save one, I probably would have to go with your figures because I feel like the crushing disappointment of your face if I came out with my books. I would. Really I would sad. accept it though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I know, them. but. Like, most of those books aren't signed, so I can get new copies, and a lot of your figures are way more expensive than my books. I guess from, so a, purely, from a purely financial standpoint, it would be more valuable to get my figures. But, knowing me, I probably would just die trying to, trying to do both. That's the real answer. That's the real answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of wraps and you things lose up, everything. I guess. <laughs> note of dying in a fiery death. That sounds like a good way to end this. But I feel like this is pretty enlightening. The video's not over it's yet. It's not over yet, boys and girls. We have a special surprise for Miss Aracy. Yeah, we do. What kind of hoodwink shit is this? <laughs> it's called We've Been Plotting. We've Been Plotting. Okay, here we go. Do you need... What the hell? I have it. Oh, okay, you have it. Right. I have it. Hold on. <laughs> One second. I feel like I'm gonna get like beat up or something. <laughs> yes, because that's what you know. I'm that's not how we how we that's what my best friend and my I like how do. your first reaction isn't like, oh, like, like most people, if it's like a significant other and a best friend, would be like, oh, like, my, my, the, like it's an engagement <laughs> thing or like Ugly. jewelry or something or like a trip. You're like, no, I'm gonna die. What really is gonna be, it's actually, we got you a new iPod oh, and a new case. I'm gonna like put so much weeb shit on this like immediately because I've been ready. dying. She's ready. I you. love making playlists. It's my calling. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna end it off. <laughs> we wanted to record your reaction, so. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> Please make sure to like, comment, or subscribe if you want to. And we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.